All right, you guys, we are back. Thank you once again for joining us. We are troubleshooting our balancing half moon posture. So there's so much going on in that pose, so many ways to get into it, so many ways to hold it, and a lot of great little hints to make it a little bit easier to hold and a little bit easier to balance in it. So while I have you guys slowly kind of trickling back in, um, good morning. Thank you for joining us once again. Um, so this is our little pop-up. Um, we're doing a pop-up on a balancing half moon pose. I'd like to remind you guys that we just set up our Mystic Fitness Venmo. So if you go onto your Venmo and you look up Mystic Fitness, you're going to find us and you can donate any amount of money and you're going to get one of these beautiful handmade masks um, delivered, hand delivered to your home. So our, um, one of our yoga instructors that works here, Mary Beth, she has been hard at work trying to help the community and serving the community these masks. She's dropped them off at several different nursing homes in Framingham. And we're just so thankful that she included us in the deal. And you guys are, um, if you make a donation, going to get one of these hand delivered. It has an elastic band here to go around the ears. And of course, you're supporting our business, our yoga studio. Um, and I say our because it's our collectively. So you guys are a part of it. And um, we love to have your support. We love your continued um, connection with us, your continued communication with us. So we're going to troubleshoot our balancing half moon. So if you took our practice with us um, just in, this morning, you should be ready to rock. You should be nice and warmed up. Now, if not, if maybe you're still feeling a little bit tight, you might want to just kind of take a couple cat and cows, find your table pose, take a couple movements here, then we'll go ahead and get started. So it's very important as we're learning how to do this posture to have a block. So alternatively, if you guys don't have your block, you can also use like a really sturdy stool. Um, some people have even been using like a really sturdy water bottle that you can put a little bit of weight on. Sometimes too, depending on where you are in your house, if your couch is kind of in reach, you can use the arm of your couch to get into it too. So welcome to Balancing Half Moon. This is arguably one of the most challenging balancing, standing balancing postures that we can get into in our yoga practice. Um, so what you want to do first, we're going to start on our right side. We're going to do it on both sides, and I'm going to show you a couple of different variations that you can take once you're in your balancing half moon. So you're going to make sure that block or whatever object you're using in place of your block is about six inches in front of the right toes, and you're going to turn those right toes to face the right side of the room. So from here, a lot of the times I like to come into it from a warrior two. This way it gives my stance a little bit of stability. I'm already engaging through that right leg. And most importantly, I'm allowing my knee to bend. So whenever we go into uh, balancing postures, we want to make sure we have a slight bend to our standing leg, and this protects the knee joint. So from here, we're just going to play around with what does it feel like to start to come up and down off of that left foot. So starting to kind of hinge that weight forward and over towards the right. So just notice that. Notice what that right leg needs to do, the right hip flexor needs to do. Just kind of bouncing in and out of it. And then from here, you might start to bring that weight into the right hand and kind of placing it on the block or whatever prop you're using. So once you have your hand placed here, then you can kind of focus on really grounding down through that right foot and opening up the hips to face the front of the room. We're also getting a little bit of a twist through the rib cage, trying to open up our right rib cage up towards the front too. So a couple hacks in this pose. You're going to want to flex that left flying leg. If it's just kind of hanging out here, that leg is really heavy. But if you engage that leg, flex through the foot, engage through the quad and glute, now your body is engaged and tight. So it's less weight for you to hold up. Then this will allow you to start to kind of, maybe you start to pick the right fingertips up off your block or just hover them there. That left arm can open up. 
you might need to come out of it for a moment here to just kind of like readjust, really plant that right foot on the ground, start to hinge forward and then open up. So again, that flexing of the left flying foot is super important to make this posture nice and controlled. Awesome. Let's go ahead and release out of it. Shake out that standing leg. And this is a definitely like a workshop style position that we're getting into. So if you need to come out of it earlier and kind of flow in between the postures, go ahead and do that. We're going to find it to the left side. So know that our right side and our left sides are different. We live in a world that has a lot of... Um, like even when you're driving, think about it. Your right leg is doing most of the work there. So each side of your body is going to be different, which means balancing is going to be different. So sometimes I find it way easy to balance on my left leg, but my right leg is kind of lacking or not as strong. So just kind of noticing the difference between both sides. So again, starting with the left toes facing towards the left, making sure your prop is about six inches in front. That way you can use the momentum to kind of pull yourself up. Starting to kind of bounce in and out of it. So I like to make my stance a little bit wider so that I can start that bend in the left knee already. And then just starting to reach up and off with the right toes. So even just a little movement here, just noticing what it's like to start to transfer the weight into the left leg. And then let's go for it. What do you guys say? Starting to hinge forward, maybe the left fingertips come towards your prop. And then flexing that right flying leg, trying to open up your hips towards the side and rotating that left rib cage towards the, left, the, the front of the room. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, so nat that's a great point. So naturally, when you kind of start to put your weight onto that um, standing leg, sometimes your knee wants to kind of come inward, right? Is that what you're talking about? And the toes kind of start to turn inward. You're going to want to engage that knee so that it's facing towards the front. So yes, you do want the toes to face forward, and that's okay to adjust it. So as you're finding your balance, see how my knee kind of starts to turn in? It is an activity of pressing that knee out towards the sides. So it's the same thing like when you come into a chair pose and your knees want to kind of knock in. You want to actively engage through the outer edge of your feet and kind of open up and engage the outside of the legs. So it's that same kind of motion, right? Not letting that knee come inward, but you're keeping it strong and stacked. So hopefully that answers your question. So from here, again, you can maybe hinge into that half moon. And then on this side, I'm going to run you through a couple options. So in your half moon, you can always find a candy cane position. So in your candy cane position, you're going to bend that right standing leg. Maybe you start by bending and extending a couple times. And then your candy cane posture would be grabbing onto the right ankle and kind of kicking into the hand and hand pulling back. I'm going to show you guys that from the side view as well. So a little bit more challenging, definitely a level up or something that maybe you want to get into. But if you don't, that's OK. It's not the end of the world if you don't make one single posture, right? It's a yoga practice. So those are a couple of variations in your balancing half moon. I hope you guys enjoyed this little info session on it. Um, please tune in. Keep me posted if there's any other postures that pop into your head that you're like, you know what, I would really love to troubleshoot it and take it a little bit slower so I can really understand the dynamics of the posture. Um, I would love to do that with you guys. So stay posted. Uh, stay connecting with us. Stay communicating with us. Um, check out our most recent post about our new Venmo account. Our Venmo username is Mystic Fitness. Any donations are so greatly appreciated, but in no way necessary to enjoy our classes. Um, and if you do make a donation of any amount, you're going to get one of these handy dandy uh, personalized um, little masks here that our Mary Beth made. All right. Take care, you guys, and namaste.